Hey everyone, welcome. Rabbit here with Rabbit Mining, and today we're going to look at the easiest way to flash a 5700 XT, and that is with Hive OS. Yes, there's a few people that were not aware that you could flash through Hive OS, and you can, and it's a lot easier than Windows instead of dealing with command prompts and command lines. If you're unfamiliar with them, this is pretty much just point and click. So a few things you're going to need, I'm going to show you here in a second. First up, you're going to need Red BIOS Editor. Now it's on Igor's lab, links will be in the description. You're going to want to download Flash Tool 304 Plus Windows. Right here, you'll see Mirror 1 and 2, Mirror 1 says New. So you're going to need that, and if you do have a 5700, not an XT, you can go to the Tech Power Up and just look up your card here. I just have Sapphires put in. 5700 XT, download a BIOS, and then you're good to go there, and we'll, then you just get to the editor part. Now, in order to actually get your BIOS off of uh, Hive OS, you're going to want to go into Overclocking, Download V BIOS. You can also save it here. We'll do that, and I'll show you how that works. So we're going to use GPU2, save the farms, because then you can actually have the BIOS stored on Hive OS as well as in your computer. You're just going to want to download that. As you can see, it's starting the AMD download. Once that's complete, it'll be set. You'll just have to click on it. We'll just wait for that to finish. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but we'll just wait a couple minutes. Or you can just fast forward through this. There we go. So there it is. Now you just click on it. And it is appearing down here. So it downloaded the ROM. Now we also told it to save in Hive OS. So now you just go to Overview. I guess we'll just go all the way back. You go to Cards. VRAM BIOS storage, and there you go. I have the same one a couple times, but for this video, now you can have you see it's saved here. You just have to download it. You can get it whenever you want. So that's another way you can get your BIOS. It's saved in two spots because now it's on your PC and it's on the Hive OS. Now to actually mod your BIOS, you're going to want to load Red BIOS Editor. Go to Load. Now for the state of this, I actually made a YouTube one here. You see YouTube. You're going to load your BIOS that you just downloaded. There we go, 5700 XT, sub vendor. We're gonna to go to the VRAM timings, and this is already modded, but I will do the whole thing. You're gonna to go to your 1550 straps. You're gonna to wanna to copy that, and pretty much go all the way down, Control V, copy it all the way down to the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to save it. Am I in? Yep, I'm in the right one here, so I'm just gonna go YT for YouTube one. I'm going to save that. Now you're going to want to go to number two. If you have two memory timings, you're going to have to do this twice. If you only have one, then you won't have another option. But if you have two options, do them. You have to make sure you're doing both. So now again, 1550, we're going to copy that. Copy. We're going to go all the way down. Uh, did I get that whole one there? I might have missed the first letter. All right, go all the way to start. Come on. Fast to go this way, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we're at the start. So we're going to copy. Okay, we're going to paste. Paste all the way down the straps again from the 1550 down. And these are one of the easiest cards to mod. So we're going to save that again. We're going to save that as two. Now we're just going to make sure it actually works. So we're going to reload it. We're going to load two. Open up. Power play, or not power play, VRAM. Now we're going to check timings are all good here. Yep. Gonna check the second one. And we're all good down there. Yep. So we're going to save that now for the final. I'm just going to go YouTube complete. Save that. Exit. And we're modded. So now all you got to do is we're going to go back into Hive OS here. We're going to go into overclocking. We're going to flash BIOS. So we're going to choose our file. Find that here somewhere. Where did I put it? 5700 XT BIOS. YouTube. Complete. Open. We're going to pick our card. GPU 2. We're going to force flash. Make sure you click this. This is force flashing. Ignore by security checking. And then you're going to upload. Here we are. We're flashing it right now. See, so it's wait a few minutes. It's going to go through its Lord deal here. It's uploading the BIOS. It's pretty simple. Point and click. Boom, boom. Good to go. Let's wait for that to upload. It doesn't usually take too, too long. 
And like I said, you can just skip through this part if you don't want to watch it upload. <laughs> Three little dots going back and forth. All right, there we go. ROM flashed. Okay, now reboot. So I'm just going to go to the power button here. Hit the reboot button. And there we go. We'll check it when it comes online. So we are back online. Everything's loaded up. Nothing's bricked. That's always a good sign. Everything's there. <laughs> so I'm going to go to my flight sheet. Team Red, load it up, go, and we're going to make sure it's all working. I guess I'll go into Shell in a Box, that way you can track this. Miner. There we go, we're loading up. Just making sure everything's going to start hashing correctly, but obviously it should. If you bricked your card, it would not be showing up right now in Hive. So if you get that point once you reboot, you're good. And if you have a dual BIOS switch, that's always a plus. I love cards with dual BIOS switches because then you can just mess around. If you brick it, it doesn't matter. You can just swap it to the old one. Then once it's loaded, swap it back, reflash it to the old BIOS or try something new and you're good to go. Now, because I love dual BIOSes, I've been trying to work on my 5600 XT Red Devil. And I bricked that thing probably about 9, 10 times now because I am trying to mod it. My memory actually has two settings, and the MSI mod from Red Panda is only one. So I'm trying to see if I can make it perform a little better, trying to get my actual BIOS to work through it. But so far, I have no luck, and I've just been bricking it like crazy. But one day, maybe I'll figure it out, and I'll get it going. But stay tuned for that. But here we go. It looks like we are hashing. We are working. Do some refresh here, see what our actual hash rates are. We are... Nah, it's still loading. Taking a while. Taking a while. What are we at now? 44. That one's a little less right now. Why? Well, I'll figure that out. But as you can see, we are hashing away. We're doing pretty good here. And nothing's bricked. So we're good to go. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Rabbit out.